In this video clip, we are going to explain to you how banks create money. In one of the previous editions of the textbook, there was a quote um, of Professor Fora that says, banks create money out of thin air. And we are going to explain to you now that that is maybe true. Right, now in the first place you have to understand what money is. You will remember from your first year that Money consists of cash plus deposits. So the deposits that we discussed in the previous slide of that banks hold, that forms part of the money supply because it's money available to people to be able to make transactions and to pay if they owe money to someone. So deposits form part of the money supply. Right. Now, Let's say that I want to buy a car and I need to borrow 50,000 Rand from the bank to buy this car. Now what the bank will do is it will create a loan for me equal to the 50,000 Rand that I need. Right, you will remember from the previous video clip that this loan will be an asset to the bank. Right because it's money that I will owe to the bank. But I can't use this loan to pay the garage or the person that I'm buying the car from. The bank has to create a deposit for the amount of the loan. So the bank will create, will give me a loan and it will create a deposit for the amount of the loan that is with the bank. Now, the moment the bank has created this deposit, money supply has increased because deposits form part of the money supply. So this means that the banks have created 50,000 Rand out of the knee. Right. Now, does that mean that banks can just keep on creating money? In a certain sense, it does. But there is something that limits them. And that is the cash and the liquid reserves that they have to hold against these deposits. The cash reserves has to be held with the reserve bank and then they also have to hold a certain amount of liquid reserves. Um, cash reserves with the reserve bank is two and a half percent of all deposits. So that means if banks don't have enough cash, if they don't have their two and a half percent cash, they can't create another deposit. So the amount of cash available in the economy limits the amount of deposits that banks can create through lending. And then they also have to hold liquid reserves. Now, they have to hold five percent liquid assets against each deposit. These liquid assets include the following assets. It includes reserve bank debentures. It includes treasury bills, which are issued by the government. It includes government stock. And it includes land bank bills. So only those four types of assets can the banks hold as part of the 5% liquid asset reserves. So the amount of these instruments that's available in the economy also puts a limit on the amount of deposits that banks can create through lending. So I hope you understand now how banks can create money.